Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to our one weapon challenge. Today we have a few ambitious things in mind. We want to one, take down the Eater of Worlds and two, find ourselves some new weapons so we'll be replacing the Snow Cannon and the Boomstick in this episode. Are you ready, my good man? I so am ready. We're going to kick that Eater of Worlds butt. Well, many butts because he splits. But, well, yeah. yeah. That's true. So this is episode, <laughs> um, we're on episode four, right? So oh, yeah. on episode four on our expert mode co-class series over on Python's channel, at this point, we're taking down expert mode Skeletron. Well, we're, you know what I mean? No spoilers to that episode. But you know, we're, you know, there's talk of it, right? Yeah, there's definitely talk of it. There's talk of it. So if you haven't seen that yet, there'll be a link in the description. So let's get into it. So we just need to go and make ourselves a stadium. I've got some potions for you, buddy. So here's an iron skin. Uh, here's a night owl. Brilliant. Here's a swiftness. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's it. So we just basically just got to go make an arena. Now, have you got any bombs? I can soon get some and then TP to you. Right. Okay. Well, let's see. So I have an area. Hmm. I kind of have an area where, um, where we could get some. I'm not too sure though. I feel, yeah, there's one area where I think we could go and get ourselves a boss fight. I'm, so I'm gonna, the I'm, I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait for you. You All go right. get them bombs, son. Wait, is there no wormhole potions left? Oh, I got one. Yeah, and a boof. <laughs> I'm not actually that far away. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I didn't fancy using my legs. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be such a such an easy fight that I don't even need to use my legs to get there. Ooh, ooh. So you think first time? Yeah. I'm thinking first. I mean, it's got to be good. I mean, like, we took down expert mode at your worlds pretty easily, didn't we? Yeah, we really did. Yeah, we did it good. I can't remember. What did we use in that series? Well, you were a pretty buffed mage, and I was a pretty buffed archer, wasn't I? Yeah, I was all over the... I do believe... I can't remember what it was at the time. Yeah, it was something good. We used something good. It was brilliant. Yeah. Right, I tell you what. Do you know, I got a bunch of pink gel at the start of the series. Do you remember that? From the pinky... Tell you what would be cool to do. Some pink bouncy bombs. That'd be so cool to defeat the Eater Worlds with. Have you ever seen that be done? I have not, though. No. Oh, man. You get some bouncy dynamite and you uh, you go to town on the Eater Worlds. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You literally just make it bounce around so it doesn't stay on the ground. Oh, wait. Not that one. Oh, is it not? Nope. There is a rotten trunk down here, though. I'll have it. Oh, Leo. That's the worst <laughs> one. Sorry, I'm just struggling with jumping. Right, okay, well, it's this next one, buddy, but I think the next one after that might be a little bit more fruitful. Okay. So this one. Hey, man, you get up pretty fast. You've got a clown the bottle and a grappling hook. You're doing yeah, good. Yeah, man, You're sick. I am good to go, man. So let's try this one. Oh, my God. Whoa. My God. Oh, my God. All right, there you go. Ha All get right, okay, so I think... Yeah, if you could blow down here, please. I shall. Don't you worry your face about it. Python and Demolitionist to the rescue. <laughs> here you go. Here's a hunter potion. Oh, well, thank you. All right, so this might have to be a vertical fight. Yeah, it's going to be a vertical fight. All yeah, right. look. There's, some down, there's one down here. But we don't right. seem to have an area to fight it in. Oh, I actually have an idea. Can I steal some of your bombs, please, buddy? You sure can. I have a feeling there might be another horizontal section to our right-hand side because the corruption spans for quite a fair way still. Well, here's what I think, right? We could do this pretty easily, right? So, oh, rubbish. Okay, so you do this. <laughs> you bomb through here. Oh, and then go through to the left-hand side. Right yeah, side, so then we, can, then we can kind of linger between the right and the left. Ooh, I like it. So then, like, yeah, so like we're kind of making our own like horizontal space. Yeah, pro Call of Duty strats. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's keep going. Oh, bomb and freeze working pretty well. Okay, nice. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and bomb the area here. I won't do too many. Okay. Um, Two one more. more to clear that up. And then one more there to clear that up. All right, and 
Right, I'm going to go ahead and put a platform here, and then these ebon stone blocks can be chucked right there. Uh, so, yeah, do you want to, should we start smoothing out the platforms? Yeah, I'm going to make a little vertical space here, like this. Nice one. Uh, I may go ahead and just do a little bit of the old bombing action over this way, because there's still a little bit of space. Oh, I was going to say, don't you worry, buddy. I got some bombs. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. And some, and some free demonite. Yeah. Well, this this series looking pretty good now. I mean, I feel like I feel pretty confident with this. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like we could take this fool down. Yeah. All right. Well, um, so we've got a. Well, that's it basically. I think we're pretty much golden. I mean, I might just yeah, blow man. up this area here just to make this a little bit larger, and I might do here as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever the case, uh, let me know when you are ready, and I we... am ready, my good man. <laughs> I was about to do the gladiators. Ready! <laughs> but it's not going to work, is it? All right, here we go. Oh, I got a vile thorn. Oh, snap. So that, is that going to be your next weapon? For the I Skeletron? I believe it is. Yeah. Are you going to do that for Skeletron? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. We've got him in the ponage stance. Let's oh, do it. we actually have. Oh, my God. As long as we don't get knocked back, we'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, he's getting close. Oh, he's getting destroyed, man. Oh, my oh, God. God. Look, we were like, what if we can't do it first time? Oh, I know. I forget. We've played terrible. too much Expert Terraria. This is all it is. This is the most difficult fight I think I've ever done, man. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh, I feel sorry for him a little bit. Yeah, man. I feel like man, he's disappointed too. some kind of parents. <laughs> Eater Worlds ain't showing up at the, like, the boss's convention next year. It's so sad <laughs> to see him fade away. God, that was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Well, I already have my next weapon. Huh. Well, I guess I'm going to go for... Hmm. Well, I've got a chance. I've got a... Hmm. The bad news is, it's a bad one. It's a deranged one. It's got negative 10% damage and minus 10% knockback. I think that's it does fine, 9 though. damage. <laughs> um, That could work pretty well. Yeah, I think this thing against Skeletron could do the job quite nicely. But are we wanting to take down Queen Bee before Skeletron? Yeah, did we decide if we're going to have a swap of that one? Uh, it's just if we do, you could get yourself a bee's knees, right? Well, this is the thing, right? So I, I need a swap now. But if we don't count the Queen Bee as a swappable boss, because I don't list it as a swappable boss... I think we could take it down, and then if they get the bee's knees, I get to use it, or a bee gun, or something like that. Oh, so you're thinking like the OG bosses. Yeah, so my list of bosses so far go Eater of Worlds, Eye of Cthulhu, Skeletron, and then you can do the Wall of Flesh swap, and then you have to defeat all three mech bosses, then you can swap. Ah, uh, okay. I'm liking the sound of that. Bit more yeah. of a chance. So we like. keep Queen Bee as kind of a side boss. And if we get a weapon from it, we get a weapon. If not, I'll have to go with something else. All right. Nice one. So have you got any idea as to what next weapon you are going to have? Well, oh my Lord. hey, look at that. Ancient Shadow Scale Mail. Would you well, like it? Because you haven't got any. Yeah. Yeah, go for oh, it, man. Snap. I look ancient. Awesome. Six defense, man. Yeah, that's not bad. I've gone up to 26 defense. Oh, so, that's beautiful. do I have to swap to do Queen Bee? I don't think I do, do I? I don't believe so, no. No. So, hmm, yeah. So, we're going to do Queen Bee. I'm going to move to a new weapon. We do Skeletron. Sound good? I like the sound of that, man. All right. Let's do this. All right, everyone. So, it's time to take on the Queen Bee. We just need to break inside and then take it on. So, if you weren't too clear on the weapon situation, we're counting OG bosses as weapon upgrades. So, we're not counting the Queen Bee as a weapon upgrade per se, but I will try and get a weapon upgrade from it so that I can use it for Skeletron. Okay? Oh, Ooh. yeah, man. Dude, I'm feeling it right now. This vile. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying my best not to direct the vile thorn downwards because that will activate. The oh, Queen that's Bee. a good point. It will. So, it will. yeah, man. It's crazy how, like, sensitive that thing is, man. Yeah, it's weird. It breaks so easily. It's kind of satisfying, though, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Flares and uh, honey makes it look gorgeous. They do look kind of cool, don't they? Oh, man. I'd like a light source like that. That would be really pretty cool. pretty sweet. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, we're just in the process of adding in some platforms. You know, the ye olde method of doing things. Sometimes the old ways are the best ways. Should we add a double layer so we can jump up? 
Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, man. I'm feeling it right. Okay. Uh, are we thinking maybe another layer? Um, do you want to jump up real quick? There we go. All right, cool. We should be able to dodge her pretty easily like this. Yeah, we just need to make sure we get our jumping in sync. Otherwise, it will like mess up midwise. Yeah. I'm so kind we of need to like kind of this... go like this kind of thing. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like this bottom area should also get a bit just in case we fall in. Yeah, it would be good to grab a little bit of honey as well. Oh, for sure, man. All right. Uh, yeah, man. I'm feeling good about this. Should we uh, Should we give this baby a whirl? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I had to do it the uh, the flare gun way. Right, which, which <laughs> platform do you want to stick on? This one and that one? Yeah. Oh, wow. She goes real quick. All right, come right. on, buddy. After three, it goes up, right? There we go. Right, so your Valphorn should destroy all the little ones, and I can use my snowball oh, cannon on the rest. Yeah, man. It just destroyed them all, man. Right, we need to make sure we're on the same layer. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'll ready? I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, okay, I forget about the side sweep. I just got a bit of lag there. You know, I used to find a Queen Bee such a hard boss back when she was added. Uh, I was go. like, oh my god, she's insane. But yeah, now it's kind of a, a cake walk. Ah, uh, it's when she stays still, man, as we can do all the damage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alley up. <laughs> Alright, then she's gonna slide sweep. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that's why she lags for me. It's kind of weird. Yeah, well, I guess it's because we're running on the server, I guess, maybe. Yeah. She, like, just TP'd. When she does her final sweep, she just TP's away. Oh, what I can't see her on my screen. Oh, she's, she's so right high up. up. Yeah, ah, man. there you go. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm actually... Oh, no wonder why. There's a blooming bee there. I need a bit of honey. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to go and put down a, a campfire. You know, doing it as we go along. Like yeah. <laughs> Oh, snap. I might actually die. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to try my best not to. All right. I don't have much seconds on healing left. I've got like five seconds on healing. Ah, good stuff. Ah, here we go. Grab a bit of honey. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh snap. Give that health. All right. Okay. Stick on the same layer. Okay. Oh, this one. I ain't got any mana. Whoop. Oh, man. Okay. And then there it's the side sweep. I right, there you go. There's stars. your mana. There's your mana. Give me name stars, fool. She's like proper, like she loves me, man. She wants yeah, me. Yeah, she's like, I feel like all the bosses have clung to you in, in our series <laughs> so far. They actually have. Skeletron in the uh, in the co-class series, and then now this. Yeah, man. This girl is crazy. All right, she's got like 250 up. I really do hope you get a bee's knees from this, man, because I think it's about time. I feel like it'd be worth it, yeah. I feel like, uh, <laughs> I feel like she's been testing us a little bit. Oh. Okay, oh, so the you, weapon man. I get, I'm going to use, I think. So it could be the bee's knees or it could be... Oh, oh a bee gun. Snap. I'll take that, yeah. What is it? A bee gun. Oh, snap, you got a bee gun? Yeah, bee gun. Indeed. Bop, bop, bop. And I also oh, got a pet. Oh, you got a pet, dude. That's freaking sweet. Yeah, you want to you wanna roll with a bee gun and do Skeletron? Yeah, should we just uh, should we just get some potions to go do it today? <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like we can get this thing done, yeah, man. All right, awesome. Let's get it done. All right, guys, the time has come. We have about four minutes to take him down. So uh, without further ado, we're just going <laughs> to do it. Yeah, we'll be fine. So we uh, we built this really quick arena, um, and I mean really quick. I mean, it took us like two minutes. Um, yeah, and we yeah. also crafted some potions because we've been keeping a good chest management system. I, I can't say the same for our co-class series, but in this <laughs> series, at least, we've been good. Yeah, I'm feeling it, man. Oh, this guy's getting destroyed, dude. Yeah, I feel kind of sad. <laughs> I mean, first eat your worlds, and then we breeze the queen bee. I mean, we started this challenge series, you know, expecting a challenge. I don't feel like we made it challenging enough. Do you know what? I think I think we may eat those words in hard mode, to be honest. We are. We're really going to eat them. I kid, I kid, by the way, guys, and it's because you guys don't see the deaths. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's what happens. Hey, following the tradition, we've got a mask. Oh, snap. <laughs> you can have that one, though, buddy, because... I've uh, stolen them all in the other series. Uh, are you sure? And I've I, got a robot hat, man. I kind of like it. Actually, do you know what? Actually, your robot hat does look so cool. I'm envious because it's, cool, it's a cool hat. <laughs> that is like super rare, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it, and it's from Cave Story, and that's an amazing game. Oh, yeah. So, our next weapon drafts. What's your? What's the idea with you, man? Uh, well, you. we decided you, you were water bowl. I think I'm handgun. Well, it's uh, funny you should say that because I literally... Oh, my God, it's a mythical one. Yo! Wow. Oh, my <laughs> <I'm> God. <done. laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's brilliant, man. Brilliant. So if you guys are following the series and completely understand we have to upgrade weapons now, um, and one thing that we, we made at the start, kind of, it was kind of like an unsaid rule. Uh, we don't want the same weapons at the same time. Um, yeah. So we don't want to be reusing ones. So I'm going to quickly look for a handgun. Because um, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be cool to get a handgun. I could definitely okay. use that. You reckon you could use just the regular handgun against the wall of flesh? Actually, I feel like you can. It's only oh, got definitely, slightly yeah. Less. Yeah, no, I, I definitely feel that. I mean, the, um, the, you know, the upgraded one is awesome, but we can't craft weapons, so. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, see, the challenge is actually challenging. Like I say, yeah. we cut out all the deaths because they're super frustrating because we drop all of our items. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's crazy. All right, okay, I'm going to open this real quick. I'm just rushing everyone. All right, that's a Muramasa, but I don't want the Muramasa. So what I'll do is I'll leave it. Actually, I'll take it to sell. Get off me, boy. Oh, I'll take it to sell. All right, we need another golden key then. We do. Uh, if we find any regular chests in the dungeons, they're guaranteed to have... Yeah, uh, that's how I actually got that first golden key. Hey, I tell you what, Python. I hope they have uh, two obsidian shields. Oh, man. Because <laughs> that would be seriously real. frustrating if they didn't. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it was so bad. It was. Oh, Bones. Mechanics up here. And oh. the corruption chest is... Oh! Dude, we forgot about the biome chests, man. Do you know what? That could be a game changer. I mean, the oh. Scourge of the Corruptor is amazing. Yo, man. That'd be crazy. Oh, I hope we use the rainbow gun. Oh, man. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what's the piranha gun like? I've never really used it, like, properly. Uh, I used it on Plantera once, and I wasn't too keen. Nah. Nah. And you have to beat... No, you have to beat Plantera to use it. Don't ah, you? Ah, right. Yeah, because it's the Plantera's curse or something, or Gollum's curse. Yeah, you can't unlock it until, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no, I tried that, and it wasn't too good. Not my thing. Uh, I, I think I tried it before the Plantera's Curse, though. Oh, yeah. Or oh, has it always been Plantera's Curse? No, it hasn't. Oh, no, yeah, because you needed the Temple Key. I've tried it. Not my thing. Hey! Oh, what the hell is this going on, man? They didn't invite us again. <laughs> Damn it, Jeffrey. Why do you do this? Oh, I have a golden key. All right, awesome. Oh, snap. All right, uh, oh. a blue moon. Ah, uh, snap. Well, I got one as well, and uh, there was some chests down there. I'm going to go open this one. Okay. Let's see uh, Let's see what you get. Handgun or an obsidian shield. Oh, an aqua scepter. Oh, yeah. do you know what? Do you think an aqua, aqua scepter would beat the wall of flesh? Y y you're feeling like peeing all over the wall of flesh? I kind of am. Do you think an aqua scepter could do it? Do you know what? I honestly think it could. I, I, want, I want the challenge of it. Go on. I accept my new weapon. It is 17 magic damage. Dude, if we can get a, uh, a goblin tinker, that could probably get over 20, probably. Yeah, I'm going to accept my new weapon, but this may fall. If it's rubbish, it's going to fall to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey. I think with a, uh, a magic power and a magic regen, this could be a really great weapon. See, look, even even the engineer, <laughs> she's been around for five minutes. And look, What's already this? already the, the party host. Look at her. Oh, that's brilliant, man. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the Aqua Scepter could do it. I, I've gained faith in the Aqua Scepter, and I want the challenge. We both have water-based weapons, so it's kind of fitting that we take down a hell-based boss with oh it. Oh my god, it's like Pokemon mechanics all over. <laughs> I like it. It's it's the ye old tradition. Ah, oh, dude, it's brilliant. Well, uh, yeah, since we both have our new weapons, I don't know about you, but I think that's probably a good yeah. point to win the episode. Yeah, right? that's a wrap for today's episode. As always, guys, I want to thank you so much for checking out today's episode. Right now on screen, you can find uh, a brand new episode of the Co-Class series. Um, and it's it's a good episode. I, I, we've already filmed it, so I already know it's ace. So I highly recommend it. And if you want to stay up to date with the series, if, you, if this is your first video, make sure to click that subscribe button. By clicking that button, you'll be kept up to date with all the latest stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later.